All right, the wreckage of the Conception has been recovered, and we are now learning more about what happened the night it burned and sank off Santa Cruz Island. CBS 2's Candace Crone has the latest on the investigation. Hours before dawn, charred wreckage of the Conception dive boat was hauled into Port Wyneme on a 185-foot barge and secured at the naval base. Investigators can now begin to thoroughly examine the boat, a critical step in determining what caused the vessel to catch fire, killing 34 people below deck. The Conception was brought in on these waters around 2 o'clock this morning. The journey back to the mainland was no quick one. At times, the barge carrying the boat only traveled at five knots. The NTSB released a preliminary report saying the five crew members who survived did not report any mechanical or electrical issues. And at the time of the fire, investigators say all crew were asleep. In an exclusive interview with CNN, the NTSB chairman talked about the findings in the report. Well, what we can say is that the, of the five crew members that did survive, apparently none of them were awake as far as the passengers and the one crew member who perished. We don't really know what they were doing. Part of the certificate for this vessel required that there be constantly a roving watch person to keep an eye on the safety of the, the vessel. And the interviews to this point have indicated that that did not transpire. An attorney for Conception's owner disputes the claim that the entire crew was asleep, saying one member checked the galley area 30 minutes before flames broke out. The report also says Conception had two smoke detectors in the bunk room, but it's not clear if they went off. Now that the wreckage is back on land, investigators hope to answer a number of questions surrounding the deadliest maritime fire in recent history. In Port Wyneme, Candace Crone, CBS2 News.